Hey everyone, it's Serena. Today we're going to be working with our walking onions. This is one of our favorite crops in the garden. It's so easy to grow and you can take just one plant and turn it into infinite food for the rest of your life if you want to. Earlier this week, Leah and I were harvesting our walking onions in our front yard. So I have a big basket of them right here. It's so simple to pick and harvest these. All you do is you let them grow and then you just grab them. That's it. it it's so simple. Today we're going to be planting our front beds in the front of our house filled with walking onions. We love walking onions. We eat probably a hundred pounds and let another hundred pounds go to waste. And so I'm just going to grab a few more heads here because I want to make sure I have enough to just pack that garden to the tits. And I'm going to plant it up and I'm going to show you how easy it is to plant them too. Ian and I have already prepped up this bed. This bed previously had walking onions in it. These, they hadn't been eaten in time. The way that we eat our walking onions is as a green onion substitute, but these had gone to seed. They grew an over, oversized stalk, grew their little baby seeds, and at that point, we're just not interested in eating them. I actually harvested the larger onions out of the base of the plant, and these I'm gonna work on making some fermented onion pickles with, which will go over in another video. This bed though, we got some lines in there, everything's stirred up, we're good to go for replanting our onions, and honestly, if you want, you can make sure that they go in root side down, growth up, they'll probably pop up a little bit faster. Most of the time when I plant these, it's literally like, I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, I don't even look. When the bucket's done, after I've planted stuff, I usually just dump it somewhere. That's part of the reason why we have so many walking onions. But these, it's, it's harder to kill them than it is to grow them. It's, they're really, really simple. The Egyptian walking onion is so great because it's actually a perennial onion. What happens is when you plant these baby bulbs, they actually will grow into a full onion plant that will survive over winter in some surprisingly cold weather and just grow up and as a flower you're going to have just more baby bulbs. We take these bulbs and plant them. We aren't super interested in harvesting an onion this, this big, it's just too much work. So we let them grow and then we harvest them, just dig them right out of the ground and eat them when they're about this size as a scallion substitute. 
we always had a really hard time growing scallions and after we found the walking onions there was no going back it's just so much easier here at you can't eat the grass we are all about working smarter not harder i know it seems like we have a lot of garden here it seems like who has time for this and the truth is this isn't our life. We can't spend every minute in our garden. We have kids that we have to chase after. We have jobs. We have hobbies outside of the garden. And if, if you try to do everything perfectly and by someone else's rules, it's not going to work. Walking onions have made a huge difference for us in what we can produce in the time that we spend. We found that there's something that works really well for us, and I feel like it's something that could work really well for you, too. If you've heard of walking onions at all, let me know what you think of them. If, you, if this is your first time hearing about walking onions, you want more info, let us know. We can do a full video, all the details. Uh, you know the deal. Do a like. Please subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to know what you think of them. Have a good day. Ha, ha, ha.